Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. In this video, I will discuss non-deterministic finite automata or NFA or sometimes we call it as NDFA. So in the previous videos, we have discussed the DFA and in this one, we are discussing the NFA. So in theory of computation, any machine that we study, we have to represent that machine in the form of a mathematical notation or with some tuples. Okay. So like DFA, in this NFA also, we have the, those same five tuples. Like we have Q, we have Sigma, we have Delta, Q0 and F. Okay. But there is a difference between DFA and NFA and where the difference is, I mean all the tuples are same for the DFA and the NFA but the only difference lies in this delta. So this delta is responsible for making a finite automata as a NFA or a DFA. Okay. And then I will also tell you uh, what is the difference between deterministic and non-deterministic. Okay. So let's start with this one. So the first tuple that we have is Q that is same as DFA that is Q is a finite non-empty set of states that is it is a state we have some states in this one like we have Q0, Q1, Q2 so all these are states and it is saying it is a finite that is a finite number of states should be there and the next thing is it should be a non-empty that is there should be at least some state it should not be a uh, empty one clear. Now next one is delta, it is again the same one. So delta is a finite non-empty set of inputs. So whatever input alphabets we are taking like 1, 0, 0, all those things we are taking here are the input alphabets. Now next one is a delta, is a transition function that I will tell you later on in the last part. Uh, next one we have Q0, Q0 belongs to Q that is it is the initial state in any NFA or a DFA we have always a single initial state okay that is why it is saying Q0 belongs to Q so there is only one Q0 that is the initial state so we can take anyone in uh, from these one like Q0, Q1, Q2 I can take anyone as the initial state but that should be a single one and the last one F that is a subset of Q is a set of final states so it is saying that in a NFA or a DFA we, we can have any number of final states okay so it is saying f is a subset of q so whatever f will be there i mean any number of final states can be there they will be the subset of the capital q only now come to the third one that is a transition function that is a delta that is the most important thing now if we talk about the delta of the dfa the delta of dfa was q cross sigma gives q what does that mean that is Whenever we are on any state, that is Q, suppose we are on state, say Q0 and at state Q0, any input alphabet applied, like input alph alphabet is 1, then after applying any input alphabet, we go on to only a single state or any state I can go to, but that should be a single one. So the condition was, there were two conditions in DFA, the first condition was for every input alphabet, I should have a path mandatory and for every input alphabet, I should have only a single path. Two conditions are there. That is, if 0 and 1 are the two input alphabets, then for every state like Q0, Q1, Q2, every state, I should have two paths. 1 for 0, 1 for 1. Second condition is, there should be only one path for 0 and only one path for 1. We cannot have uh, two paths for 0. We cannot have two paths for 1. Now come to the uh, NDFA that is NFA. In this one it is saying that Q cross sigma gives 2 to the power Q. What is 2 to the power Q? It, it is the power set of Q. What is the power set of Q? Now in DFA with one state and one input I was going on to a single state only. But in this one it is saying that Q cross sigma gives 2 to the power Q. What does that mean? In Q, suppose this is the NFA that we have. In Q, we have 1, 2, 3. So, we have 3 states. Okay. So, it is saying that 2 to the power 3. That is, whenever we are on state and we apply any input alphabet, we have 8 options. 2 to the, two to the power 3 is 8. So, we have 8 options. We can go on to 8 different places. Now, see in this one, at Q0, when input symbol 1 is applied, we are going on Q0 also, we are going on Q1 also. At Q1, input alphabet 0 applied, we are going on Q1 also, we are going on Q2 also. So, in DFA, that was not possible. In DFA, 
there, there was only one path for 0, one path for 1. So, in this one, I have two paths for 1. I have two paths for 0. Okay. That is why it is called as NDFA, that is non deterministic finite automata. What does that mean? With the state and the current input, I cannot uniquely identify on which state I have to go. Suppose someone asked me that when at Q0, input symbol 1 applied, where will you go? So, I don't have a unique answer in that case. Why? Because I can tell, I can go to Q0 also, I can go to Q1 also. So there is no unique answer in this case. That is why it is called as non-determinism, non-deterministic finite automata. That is, we cannot determine with which uh, or to which state I can go to by applying any particular input. Okay. Now, come to this one. That is, whenever we are on any state Q and any input alphabet applied, we have 2 to the power q, that is a power set of q options that I can go on. Okay. Now, what are these options? The options are, the first option is in this one, if, if we take this scenario, we have q0, we have q1, we have q2. Okay. And the fourth one is phi also. So, I can go to phi also, null state, dead state. We can go to q0, we can go to q1, we can go to q2. Okay. Now, apart from this, I can go to the combination of the states also. That is, I can go to Q0 and Q1 also. I can go to Q0, Q2 also. I can go to Q1, Q2 also. And I can go to Q0, Q1, Q2 also. Okay. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, for single input, I have eight options. I can go to any of the eight options. Either I can go to one option, two option, three option, or I can go to all the eight options with a single input only. So, this is a NFA and in which I have those five tuples. The only difference between NFA and DFA is this transition function. So, if someone asks you what is the difference between NFA and DFA? So, the simple answer is in DFA for single input, we have a single path. In NFA, for a single input, we have multiple paths. Thank you so much.